Glasgow, the city where peace talks seem to be getting somewhere. Frankie Vaughan, better known as a singer, is proving an able mediator between the tough rival gangs of teenagers who have for years enforced territorial claims on sections of Easterhouse Newtown. Violence has been their method, a violence which has earned Glasgow the reputation as the toughest city in Britain. The gangs proudly daub their names on walls throughout the housing estate. They are names which spell fear for thousands of law-abiding citizens. It was fear with good reason. But each day, the hope that gang warfare and terrorism is nearing its end grows stronger. For years, the local authorities have struggled with the problem. Their efforts, though commendable, were fruitless. Frankie Vaughan, himself a product of street gangs, firmly believes there's more good than bad in all youngsters. He met the gangs on their own ground to talk sense, help trash out their problems, and negotiate a truce. It's still too early to say for certain, but his efforts seem to be paying off. The Glasgow police remain skeptical, but on record is the fact that already eight gangs have now handed over their weapons to them. On the Easterhouse estate, the Drummy, Toy, Rebels and Pack gangs were first to lay down their arms and are now ready to plan building and organizing their own youth centre. Their first job is to clean up slogan daubed walls. A local firm has loaned them the equipment they need. The entire scheme is full of promise. Even so, there are many who doubt the sincerity of the gang leaders. But the nightly tensions of Glasgow have eased considerably. If a singer can achieve so much, surely world leaders with all their experience can do more.